One of my subscribers brought my attention to a new YouTube channel that's breaking records with a simple strategy. The name of the channel is Next Gen Process, and get this, they posted their first video just two weeks ago. But within this short time, they've already been able to rack up more than 9 million views on their channel from just uploading 15 videos. In fact, if you look at their entire channel, you'll notice that every single video they've dropped, except this one, has brought in hundreds of thousands of views, with their best performing video already sitting at a cool 4 million views views, which is just crazy for a channel that was created just last month. Now I'm sure by this point you're curious about exactly what they're doing. Well, prepare to be amazed. They're simply creating videos that show viewers how some products are made. Each video shows the full process involved in the entire production process, like how a large production company uses snakeskin to maybe create that nice shoe that your uncle loves so much. Their videos are very detailed, starting from animal testing, extracting the leather, dyeing, polish, and every other process involved. What makes the niche interesting? is that it's not only limited to processing animals. They're tackling other topics like this one about how Coca-Cola makes their drinks, which brought in more than a million views in less than a week, and this other topic about cigarette processing in the factory. The best part is that they didn't need to visit any of these factories to understand their processes or even take screenshots of them. They're simply leveraging AI to create these engaging videos, which is what makes their strategy so intriguing. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how they're doing this and how you can also replicate their process with your own unique touch, of course, and finally start that faceless channel you've been putting off. The first thing you need to do is to come up with some ideas for the video. Obviously, this step is quite simple as there are a bunch of things you can think up, from how a simple matchbox is produced to how those crocodile leather jackets are made. The list is endless, but to make things easier, I've prepared a simple prompt that can help you with some of these topics. To access these prompts, simply look for the Discord link in the description of this video and click on it. Once you're on the Discord page, navigate to the prompts channel and you'll see a bunch of cards with links to different niches that I've tackled on this channel. The one you need for this niche is titled Processing Niche. Click the link and you should have access to the prompts document. Alternatively, you can find this same link inside My School Community. I've made it free to join, so you can use the link in the video description or check the pinned comment. Oh, and if you're serious about starting a faceless channel but don't know where to start, or maybe you've started but you aren't making any real progress, then consider joining my premium community. It'll give you access to all of these perks and more. Now make sure you've copied the topic prompt and head over to your favorite text generator. The one you use depends on your preference, but the free version of ChatGPT works perfectly for this niche, so let's go with that. Go ahead and paste the prompt and then look for this placeholder. Make sure you remove and replace it with the number of topics you want the AI to generate. You can go with however many you want, but I'm going with 25 for this demonstration. No need to make any other changes here. Simply hit enter and wait for your topics to be ready. As you can see, it's generated a bunch of interesting topics in the same style as the channel we're modeling. There's a huge variety of topics to choose from, including how chocolate is made, python leather, and even the processes involved in making bottled water. So if you're not a fan of animal leather, there are plenty more areas you can look at. Go through the topics and choose the one that works for you. Once that's decided, the next step is to generate the video clips for the story. But before that, you need to understand something. There are actually two ways that you can create the clips for the video. First one is to generate images, and then use an image to video generator to animate them. Then the second one is to create the clips directly from the text using a video generator as well. I'll be showing you how both styles work. But first, you need prompts that will guide the AI in generating these clips. So go back to the Google Doc and look for this prompt. Make sure it's copied and paste it inside your text generator. Now there are two placeholders here. The first one is for the topic, and the second is the total number of image prompts that you want to generate. Make sure your chosen topic has already been copied and then replace it here. The number of image prompts typically depends on you and how long you want to make the story. I'm just going to go with something like 30 and wait for the AI to prepare the prompts. If you look closely at the results, each prompt comes with both image and video prompts. The image prompt is the one that you'll be using for most of your generations, but you can include the video prompt for some detailed camera motion. Like I said, we'll be testing out both image to video and text to video. So let's start by generating our images using the prompts that the AI has provided. You can use your favorite image generator, but Google's Whisk works just fine for these images. Paste your image prompt and make sure the aspect ratio is set to 16 by 9, which is what you need for this style of video. Hit enter and your image should be ready in a few seconds. These images look great, so let's try a few more. Keep this up till you've generated every single image that you want to use for your story. Now, once all of your images 
images are ready, it's time to move on to the next step, which is actually creating the clips with your favorite video generator. One important thing you should know is that, while the channel we're modeling typically doesn't include speech in most of their videos, sound effects are essential to bring the scenes to life. So whichever video generator that you decide to go with has to be good with sound effects. Google's VEO3 works great for this niche, so I recommend using that. I know it can be pricey, which is why I've pinned something in the community tab of my school to help simplify things. Make sure you've opened Flow and then start a new project. We're going to test both text-to-video and image-to-video to see which one works best. Choose text-to-video and select the VEO 3.1 quality model. Obviously, the aspect ratio should be set to 16 by 9 for long form, and select how many clips that you want the AI to generate. Two works just fine, so you can go with that. Now paste the image prompt and wait for the clips to be generated. You can actually generate multiple at a time, so add a few more tasks while waiting for the first one to be generated. It's ready now, so let's check out the result. Temperature reading stable. Moving to station three. Acknowledged. Data looks good here. These clips look good, but there's a bit of an issue with some of the results. The sound effects are okay, however, there's some kind of speech included, which isn't what we want. So let's try generating another one, but this time we'll include this simple no speech command. Just like that, and as you can see, the AI is only generating the sound effects without the speech. Quite simple, actually. The clips also look really good, so you can download it by simply clicking the download button, then choose the upscaled 1080p option. Once the upscale process is complete, hit this button to save to your computer. Now let's try creating the clips from the images. Switch to frames to video and upload your image. Make sure you add the prompt that was used to generate the image and hit enter. Don't forget to include the no speech command if you don't want any of the characters talking in the video. Check out these results as well. They're just as good, if not better, than the ones that were generated from text. So it's completely up to you, the direction you choose for your clips. You can even combine some of the results from the text to video and the image to video to create your final video. Now keep going till you've generated every single clip that you need. But once that's done, it's time to put them together. The process is pretty straightforward straightforward so you can use any video editor that you want. Even Canva can get the job done. But CapCut works just fine, so let's use that. Open it and make sure all your clips have been imported. Now all you need to do is to arrange your clips inside the timeline according to the flow of your story. Don't forget to specify the aspect ratio as 16 by 9. Now keep arranging your clips till your entire story is complete. Once that's done, you can add transitions if you want to. But honestly, it's not very necessary for these videos. I'll just leave this one. You need to add a filter so head over there and test a few till you find one that fits the vibe you're going for. This one works fine for me, so let's use that. Grab and drop it inside the timeline, then extend to cover the full video. It's looking good already, so you don't need to do anything extra. Simply export it at your preferred resolution. The last thing you need to do is to generate a thumbnail for the video. For that, you need to copy this prompt and paste it inside the text generator. Remove this placeholder and replace it with your topic. The AI will generate a simple thumbnail prompt for you. For the image generation, go back to Whisk or any image generator that you want and paste the prompt. Hit enter and your thumbnail image will be ready in a few seconds. Simple as that. As you can see, this image looks pretty good. So you don't even need to spend any extra time editing it. However, you can make some slight changes to get exactly what you want. The entire process of creating this style of video should only take an hour max. So whether you have a busy schedule or not, this is a great niche to get into. Anyway, let's take a look at our final result.